can't tell me okay. nothing about my mess. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Prisca Love here. We're in a new year. It's 2024 and it's the love month, February. And this is just my Galentine's Day setup that I set up for my friends. You know, every year we've been making it our business to go out for Galentine's Day. We had little welcome drinks. We did our little gift exchange. And instead of doing like a Galentine's in, we did a Galentine's out. Oh, and we headed to our next location. To the moon. So our outing is at Lake Lanier's Snowy Island. I know what you're thinking. This is my first time ever coming to Lake Lanier. I was a little bit scared, but since we're not at the actual lake in the water, this is their Snowy Island that they have seasonally. And y'all, just look. That was our first festivity for the day. Um, the snow. Oh, I just want to show you my fit. You quick. I try to wear like more snow attire stuff. I try to go for like a ski fit kind of look. Got my Valentine's nails on for Valentine's Day. And now we're gonna go ride rides. rides yeah. Ooh, child, get up these stairs. There's a lot of stairs just to get to like the little thing that takes you up. But it's so fun. I knew this was gonna be a good idea. Of course it was fine. Of course it was. <laughs> Y'all, I totally recommend this place. Please try to go here. I think they started in November and it goes all the way up until February. But this is like a mini ski trip for us before we do like a real ski trip. And we had the best time. Like, these are real laughs. I was crying real tears because it was so much fun. I am. I just saw. 
That's how cold it is in here. Definitely act like you're on a ski trip She's because I know. Come on, let's do it again. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Fire feels so nice. Oh, this is all I needed all day. Nails from T. Yes. I, I got the little small one, but I need a bigger one, like a big space heater one for the patio. So like both people can really feel it without having to lean over. Yeah. This is nice. A little vibe. It's so cute. And it's actually really cold in here because of the ice. And it has like little tents over it, but it's open still. I tried a fried Oreo for the first time, y'all, and it was actually so delicious. So next time I go to the fair this year, I'm gonna get fried Oreos instead of a funnel cake. That's usually what I always get when I go to the fair. Ooh. Ready to go eat? We're done with dinner. It was actually so delicious. And it's really ending off a perfect night. This is the location in Duluth. Uncle Max. It has a lot of meat. It's like Uncle Max Meat House. Oh, it's raining. It was raining out there too when it was out there. But it's right by Benny's Pizza here in Duluth. And the chicken was really, really good. Uh -oh. <laughs> So I was gonna do a baby fat look, but I cannot find the shirt. So I'm just gonna wear my airbrush shirt, which I feel like will work perfectly anyway, cause it has hearts on it and it has my name on it. And it's more close to the, you know, 2000s glamor shot. So I have this, which will be my bottom. And I will also use it to cover up my little ottoman. So I can even do like a sitting down look or I can like pose in front of it, um, like, these pictures here and this is where I'm gonna put my backdrop I'm gonna tape it and the backdrop is like over here right now I'm gonna have to tape it tight so that way it has like no wrinkles in it but I'm gonna go ahead and start getting it set up guys so let's get into it and let's do this quick because it's Super Bowl Sunday and I have other things I have to do today I wanted to show you guys some of the jewelry I wore for the shoot. I got this ring from TikTok shop. Y'all, I love the quality of this ring and I got a size eight so it fits perfectly. Check my TikTok shop out for it. As y'all can see, I got my set up and ready to go. And I used my ring light with my camera connected and my phone connected. The little black thing you see on the back, you can't see it from the front, of course, but it's actually a mirror. I got this from Amazon 
and it's mirroring my phone so I can use my back camera so I can have better quality. That way I can look in the mirror and see exactly what's on my phone as it takes pictures. So this was so helpful. This was actually my first time using it since I purchased it and I'm definitely going to keep it because now I can see exactly how I'm looking in the camera before taking the picture and I feel like it works out good if you don't have a remote to control taking the photos or if you can't see if you don't know if you're in frame or in focus so I actually wanted to buy a remote for my camera but um, I actually got one and it doesn't work so I have to buy another one but this worked out so good and I just use lens buddy that's the app that I use to take the pictures on my camera I have the Canon G7X Mark II and on the camera I was able to set the timer option I'll take some on the digital camera as well and then we should have it look at that can you tell me this is not so cute okay I just have to fix my freaking necklace can't tell me nothing about my name. Ready? Okay. I held you down. 
So my client came in wanting a Valentine's Day look. This is the day before Valentine's Day. So she has this pink wig, which is super pretty. A really pretty color. And we've been seeing this popular style on, on Insta and Pinterest. She wanted to try it. So what we're doing is we just laid the wig already. I'm parting out the heart to make sure she has like a good little side part but enough for a swoop and they were just gonna flip the end so continue watching to see how i did it guys it actually wasn't as hard as it looks um what i would suggest is if you have a hard time with parting make like a c part first like a regular c part for like a swoop and then in the middle of that c part make a triangle go in the opposite direction to kind of formulate your heart and then once you got it going you could keep parting it to make sure it looks exactly how you want it to look but it, it did not take that long at all so i'm just getting everything sleek here with the hot comb and set in our part and then we'll go in with the heart part As you can see, I just hopped straight into the little parts. I started in the little middle and I'm just molding it down with some even spray in my hot comb.
could take us for money. If I wrote you a symphony, just to say how much you mean to me. What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful, would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world, but I ain't seen myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart. There's just one thing I need from you Say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my lady Girl, you amaze me Ain't gotta do nothing crazy See, all I want you to do is be my love So don't give away My love So don't give away My love and another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away. And another woman that can take your spot, my love. My love. My love. Now if I wrote you a love note and made you smile. Said you would step up Said you put the work in But I should have listened Okay y'all, it's Valentine's And I'm getting ready for my date tonight and so i decided to be sweet and get a gift as well what do you guys think about that do you feel like men should also get a gift for valentine's day i feel like gift giving is one of my love languages so i like to go all out whether it's like my best friends family or somebody i'm feeling you know i like to do a little something something but i have to hold back you know you have to earn when it comes to a man they have to earn me kind of like doing something nice for them but i don't know if y'all been seeing those pictures those viral like uh chocolate covered strawberries with the written letters that girls get their guy for valentine's day i decided to help my friend make these for hers and y'all this was so funny and so easy literally i had some leftover chocolate i got a ziploc maggie and warmed it up and then i just decorated the cookies with the saying like it's so funny and this was so easy to do so don't think that you have to pay somebody unless you know somebody you want to support i'm all for supporting but if you feel like you want something but you think you can't do it because you don't know who can do it always know that you can do it this was not hard at all and i helped her out so it turned out really really good Spot my love.